Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 58 in chapter 9. And this chapter is exactly the same as problem 57 in chapter 9. By this time, we consider these two particles as uh, one is neutron, another is helium, right? So we can say we have two particles, neutron and helium. And then initially, we have the velocity, only the neutron. This one is given, and the mass ratio is also given. And finally, there is an elastic collision happens, right? And then we find the mn, the neutron, just moves with the velocity vn plus. This makes the angle set n plus to the x direction. And still similarly for the helium, helium makes the angle theta helium plus with the x component. And for this one, this is the two dimensional collisions. So we can consider the little momentum conserved in x component and also in y component. Agree? So first one, we look at the x component. Initially, we have the mnvn. This is the initial momentum equal to final momentum. It's just the mnvn plus. So this one, we need to project the vn in x component and in y component. So first thing, look at this x component. So x component, this this length is just a vn plus times cosine theta n plus, right? And then plus, we look at the helium. Helium is the vn v helium plus times cosine theta, still cosine theta, so this term. And then we get the x component, momentum is conserved. Then we look at the y component, for y component, initially it's zero, and then finally we project the heat neutral in the y component. So it's the length is this one. Agree? This one. So it's Vn plus times sine sin theta n plus. And the minus this term. So project the helium's velocity in y component. This term is this one. See? Now this next one we need to determine it is the kinetic energy of conserved, so initial kinetic energy equal to final kinetic energy. Now we can input the mass ratio inside, we can simplify the three equations in this three, right? Now we can find the final answers, Vn plus, Vhe plus, and theta n plus, uh, by solving these three equations. You can see in these three equations, three quantity unknown, and three equations, so you can solve it very easily. Thank you.